hope I'm in the private group. It's Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs. I'm going to work on some color sampling. I um, still am waiting on the contact paper. It's supposed to be here on tomorrow. If not, I'll be in a tumble anyway. I can pick some up when I'm down there, hopefully. Um, other than that, I'm working on some colors. I've got all my yellows in now, and I'm going to show you how I kind of do my color sampling for uh, a request. So that way the customer can pick out which colors they would want me to use. So I'm going to flip you down here. Hi Kelly, how you doing? So I'll flip you down here. And I have a mixed media book. I used to do this on like uh, scrap wood. I got this at um, Hobby Lobby. It's, if you use your 40% off coupon, it doesn't cost $12.99. Um, it's back there near the canvas sections. So basically, we we're waiting on all my yellow samples and um, we've got the design picked out for her banner now I'm just gonna kind of do some color colors on here to kind of show what the colors would look like so that way if she's happy with it then I'll move on so basically I'm just gonna go ahead and just put on a good coat this is just simple just a good coat of pink and I'll use a different brush each time Okay, so and then when I get done, I'll put right down soft pink so that way I can go back and check and I didn't grab my pen, so let me go do that. So that way I don't forget what I use because I did this before and it's great to go back and write that down. So if you've got somebody who says, oh, I like that color, what was that? You can go back and look. So Dixie Bells, I need a pen, not a pencil pink okay and then I'm gonna do Dixie Bell's mint julep I'm going with Easter colors because this is gonna be an Easter project whoa that is not been open for a while I'll have to grab a paper towel and clean that up what a mess and then I just paint it right across right next to the pink and I kind of try and stick with the same colors and work my way over. I probably should have my pink over here. To give myself more room. And that is mint julep. Okay, I've got the gulf. This is kind of like a bluish green color. Oh, come on. Hope you guys are having a great week, staying busy. Um, everything that's happened this week kind of put me in a little funk. So hopefully it didn't you guys. I thought I was handling it well until Tuesday I went to go give blood and my blood pressure was up. My blood pressure is never up. Okay. So I usually put this on kind of thick so that way when it dries you got a good color showing to see how it looks when it dries. And that's the gulf. <laughs> and then blueberry. I had this stuck up there on my shelf and it was hiding. I forgot I even had this. Such a pretty color. It's kind of a blue, blue purplish tint. Not pretty. Hope you can see that okay. So that's kind of what I do for to to find colors that my customers want. And it's hard doing that sometimes online because they don't always take the same look the same on the picture as they do. So whenever I do take a picture, I usually bring it down here in my dining room where I have all this all these windows and natural light, and take a picture of it without any flashlights, any lights, just natural sunlight. 
Oh shoot, I need to write that down. That way it gets a better representative of what the color looks like when it's dried. Okay, so I've got different yellows. And this is the one I was waiting on was lemonade, and that's a really light yellow. I actually bought two jars of these because I've got a project for my desk that I'm gonna use this color on. I wanted to make sure I had enough. Well, shoot, I didn't get it. And yes, I'm using my dental toothpick. I use my scissors and dental toothpicks for stuff that I probably shouldn't be doing, but you know. <laughs> I guess it is what it is. Let's see this. Ah, come on. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a creamy yellow. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight that later. Let me get some on here. I'm gonna go ahead and, since I got three different yellows, I'm probably gonna put like one down here, one up here, and then maybe one on the side. So that way they're not all together. That is pretty. I'm trying to stick with light colors because we're planning on having an initial on top of the design and that'll be in like in black and I want to make sure that stands out and doesn't get lost. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, and that was lemonade. I'll do Daisy for sure. I'll do Daisy on the bottom. That kernel mustard might be too much, but I'll put it on here off to the side. Oh, hang on. Okay. So yeah, tomorrow we got one more room to paint at Daniela's house and then we are done with her house. And then we can start working on mine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this one down to the bottom. And we'll have to see how it dries to see if it kind of lightens up enough. And it also depends on what the customer wants. So, and that is Daisy. And since I think this one's gonna be too dark, I'm gonna put it off to the side a little bit. And this is kernel mustard. This is the one I used on my um, cutting board Monday. I really like it. But I think it's gonna to be too much for this project, but we'll see. This will give her an idea of what I have. And once this is dry, then I'll, I'll take a picture of it down here, you know, kind of by my, my bay window so she can see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that might be too much. We'll see how it dries out. So that's how I do my colors when we're trying to figure out what colors to use. I used to do these on scrap boards, and now I do these on this mixed media pad, which this way I can save it in a convenient place because like my scrap boards, I try and save them too, but then I'd lose them. My craft room is such a mess again. So that's how I do this. So later I'll take a picture and then I'll send it to her. So, and that's that. You have a great week, weekend, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Kelly. Hey guys, it's Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs. I'm just hopping on real quick because I was working on a color sample and I wanted to show you my process. Um, I have one that I've already done. I'm not sure I can really show it to you, but it's nothing. It's just basic because we're just trying to pick out one color. So I just painted one color. I basically use one clean brush per paint color. And then um, if we're trying to figure out which colors to use, I tend to group them. So I'm working on a rustic flag. So I've got Dixie Belle's Rustic Red. 
If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'll answer them when we get done, or I'll come back when we get done and answer them. So basically, I'll take a clean brush, and we're gonna make two groupings, but not with the red. I gotta keep this straight, I'm, so I don't get confused. So I'll do the rustic red over here, and I'll do a nice patch here. Okay, so that is done. I'll put that brush away. I'm not gonna reuse it because we don't want to contaminate it when we're doing the color samples. I do do lots of blending, but not when it comes to this. So then I will go ahead and write down below what this is because sometimes the colors will start looking alike. And I'll write down my colors. Okay, next I have muscadine wine. This might be too much burgundy, but we don't know sometimes until you just play and try. So then I'll do the second group over here. Because sometimes I'm wrong and it turns out to be the one I don't think is going to work. It turns out to be the perfect color. So I'm about a two inch stripe right there. Just like that. And I'll do the same thing over here. write down the colors on each side so I don't forget. I might need a new pen. Okay, and then one more blue, one more clean brush. And I've got Yankee Blue. Then I'll go on the other side of the red and do the same thing. And I use a mixed media pad that I bought from Hobby Lobby for this. Um, it's a huge pad. It um, costs, I think, I think it's $12.99 uh, before any sales. So if you wait until they're on 50% off, you can get it that way, or you can use your 40% off coupon. So. And there's, I think maybe like a hundred sheets, and I and I do front and back on these things, even with the color sampling. So there's one I did before. So, and that is it. Once it dries, then I'll take a picture of it and send it to my client for her to decide which color combinations she likes. Let me write down my colors here. we go all right guys I hope you guys have a great week and I hope to see you Friday on my let's craft Friday live I have no idea what I'm working on but I will figure something out because I've got tons of stuff I can actually do just what do I want to tackle so you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you guys later oops I hope you guys got that my low battery came on so I'll talk to you guys later if I can find the X button